Welcome to Cabarrus This Week. I'm Kasha Thompson, and I'm standing outside the Boys and Girls Club of Cabarrus County. Each November, the Cabarrus County's Veteran Services Department partners with students in the Keystone Club in the City of Concord to honor local veterans. Due to COVID-19, veterans will be honored in a new way this year. Cabarrus County Veterans Services Director Tony Miller is here to share how you can participate in the Veterans Day Tribute. And he also has a special invitation for our local veterans. In previous years, we've had our veterans program working with the Boys and Girls Club of Concord. This year, we'll also be working with the City of Concord. Our event this year will be televised on Wednesday, November the 11th at 11 o'clock on Channel 22 and on other social media outlets. Our program this year will be profiling several veterans from the Cabarrus County area. After that program, then we will move forward at the Boys and Girls Club. We'll have a drive-through for veterans to show appreciation we'll be having giveaways. So we encourage veterans, please come out to the Boys and Girls Club on Wednesday, November 11th from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Thanks, Tony. For more information on the tribute to Cabarrus County veterans and to learn more about services for veterans and their families, visit cabarruscounty.us, follow Cabarrus County on social media, or call 704-920-2869. Cabarrus Commissioners have begun the process of transitioning administration of behavioral health and intellectual developmental programs and services from Cardinal Innovations Healthcare to Partners Health Management. To protect residents in greatest need, the disengagement with Cardinal Innovations will occur simultaneously with the transition to Partners Health Management. And Cabarrus County will continue to work with Cardinal Innovations in the best interest of residents of Cabarrus County. Cabarrus County Director of Human Services, Karen Calhoun, presented the proposal to commissioners at a recent meeting. Let's learn more about this important decision. We have had numerous issues over, the, over many years. Some of those include a lack of service array for our Cabarrus County residents, limited numbers of local placement resources for crisis needs, and often children and adults with extended stays in emergency departments at the hospitals uh, lacking and waiting on treatment services and placement services. There's also identified gaps in specific mental health providers and services within our county in particular, such as psychiatric, pediatric psychiatrists and psychologists, as well as a lack of respite care providers in our county, just to name a couple and some of the issues we've been dealing with. We do have limited options based on statutes and rules from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, including the administrative code, which we have looked at very carefully with this process. But we do have the option as a county, according to North Carolina general statute, to choose our LME MCO as a county. Cabarrus County has been engaged in conversations for a good while with our neighboring county, Union County, regarding similar issues that I just mentioned. Earlier this afternoon, their Board of Commissioners unanimously voted to adopt a similar resolution that we're bringing before you this evening. Based on information gathered, we engaged in conversations also with Partners Health Management, which is a local management entity with nine counties currently based in Gaston County, and they have satellite offices in Elkin and Hickory. We believe we are better aligned with the values of partners health management and we do have CEO Rhett Melton on the meeting tonight and toward the end we'll open it up for questions you may have for him and he might like to say something. And partners is willing and able to move forward with us as part of their service area. We will work with both Cardinal and partners to ensure no disruption in services to our citizens or our providers. Partners has committed to ensure all current providers contracted and in good standing with Cardinal and serving in our county will be contracted with Partners Health Management. Partners intends to honor, and this is critical for our consumers, the, the clients that receive these services, they will honor the consumer service authorizations, the annual plans and other documentation and decisions that are essential to ensure a smooth transition. That continuity of care is extremely important and the number one priority for the request of this transition. It is about a nine month process and we are asking to begin the process with this resolution uh, and your consideration of adopting it this evening. So the action requested is to adopt the resolution expressing a desire to disengage and begin a realignment process. 
Cabarrus residents who've participated or sought out mental health services are encouraged to share their stories over the next 60 days as part of the comment process. To learn more or to share your comments, visit cabarruscounty.us or call 704-920-1400. Cabarrus Rotarians have a long history of adding magic to our parks and community spaces. The new Rotary Harmony Park at Frank Lisk Park in Concord is no exception. Rotarian Lisa Perry is here to share more on the sights and sounds of the play area. The idea for Rotary Harmony Park first came when several Rotarians from the Rotary Club of Cabarrus County attended the International Conference in Atlanta and there was a display for these free notes instruments. My husband and I, Brian, we own our, our own company and we were celebrating our 25th anniversary in business. And we decided we wanted to do something significant for the community. We reached out and received grants from Cabarrus County Active Living and Parks, from the Rotary District, and from the Cabarrus Arts Council, in addition to a donation from my husband and myself on behalf of our company. By collaborating with those other organizations, we were really able to do something significant. And these grants are available. There are county grants every year, and it just takes some people with creative thinking and unique ideas to bring something special to the community in some way. The whole space is handicap accessible as well as the instruments, so so many people can enjoy this beautiful music. When we see kids walk up to these instruments and be able to make a sound, it's just a beautiful a smile on their face, that excitement. One of the moments that has been most special to me is one of the benches was donated on behalf of Grace Minot, who is a former county commissioner, a wonderful person in this community, and a lover of music. And she was here watching her see it for the first time and watching her great-grandson play the drums was one of the most beautiful moments that I've seen. It has given us back more than we gave, for sure. And I think that businesses do need to think outside of the box and help contribute things that are lasting to the community. Aww. That's music to our ears, Lisa. Thank you, your fellow Rotarians and the Cabarrus Arts Council for this amazing space. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks to all of our guests and thanks to you for watching. If you're watching us on our YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to get notified when we release new programs. You can learn about what we've discussed here today, as well as other important topics in our weekly newsletter. Sign up, visit cabarruscounty.us, type newsletter in the search bar. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County. You can catch our other programs, including Pam's Kitchen, Historical Moments, and more, streaming live at cabarruscounty.us slash cabcotv, or download the ScreenWeave app for Roku and Apple TV. We'll see you next time. Take care.